take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. Silicone RTV mold making rubber may soak into a porous surface and lock in place. This is often the case when making a mold from a wood pattern. To prevent sticking, seal the wood so the silicone can't soak into it. Krylon acrylic spray is a good choice. Take our lead. Silicone adhesive is the best kind of glue that you can use, especially when attaching wood pieces that will be constantly under pressure. So long as you make sure to apply it properly and let it dry, its hold should have no problems lasting for a long time. Let's help you make your mark. Since silicone is used where water or excess moisture could be a problem, it is also susceptible to mold growth. If moisture is present where they land, they grow, feeding on the material they land on. Initially, mold damage may be cosmetic, but as it grows, it can cause structural damage. Let's help you make your mark. Insufficiently shaken catalyst is a very common way to get tacky silicone. Also, if it is too dry or too cold, that can cause the curing process to take longer. To avoid air bubbles, pick a corner of the mold box to pour and don't pour the silicone directly on the original. Make your mark, take our lead. When it comes to using silicone molds, oftentimes, properly cured resin will demold without any problems. However, if there are any problems, gooey resin, mold with lots of undercuts, using mold release may be the only saving grace to get it out. Also as the silicone mold ages, it will become brittle. Take our lead. Use an acrylic spray such as Krylon Crystal Clear. Use petroleum jelly thinned with mineral spirits. Be careful not to leave brush strokes. Rubber will pick them up and they will show on the mold surface. Use a wax such as the Night Wax, from Smooth On, or Butcher's Wax, Home Depot. Thank you for watching, please subscribe and hit the bell notification.